So hi, myself is Prajwal. So welcome to HSR Royal Enfield. So today we are uh, indexing about Classic 350. This is a one key you can support for all the purpose. Like you can open the tanks, side box, both the sides, and you can side lock here itself. Only the left side you can make a side lock. Single key you can open all the things. So these are the indications. This is a battery indication and it's a ABS indication light. This is a malfunction sensor light and it's a low fuel indicator. If the battery indication light is running, like when the engine is run, running, so this light on means battery is not getting a recharge, it's getting drained only. So ABS indication, once you move the bike, this light also will goes off. If it doesn't go means only disc brakes are working, ABS is not working, you can notify here. So the malfunction sensor light, what will indicate you? Like, if anything problem with the engine or wiring, so this will indicate you something issue with the bike. The low fuel indicator, when it came to reserve capacity in the tank, so this will also, the light will glow. See the LCD display. So this is a fuel indicator. So when it starts blinking, it is like, it is in the reserve capacity in the tank. So automatically here it will convert into trip F. Otherwise it will run in the odometer or trip one or trip two, whatever. So when it come to trip F, so it is in reserve capacity. So you can see here eco meter also. So if you ride on eco mode, so you'll get better mileage. Now I'll explain the controls. This is a kill switch. So if you put in a center, the all sensor will get running now. So this is a self. And this is a hazard light switch. And this is a headlight. So this is in the high beam, low beam and pass. So this is a indicator switch, right left. And this is a on switch. And here you can get to LCD display button here. So you can change his timings as you can move to trip meter, trip one, two and odometer also. And here you can get to charging port. Just you want to add a USB cable for it. So this is a self button. So if you slide it, so engine will get run. When you on the key, only the tiger headlamps will be on. So when you when the engine runs, then only the headlight will get on. This is how we can open the tank. So the tank capacity is 13.7 liters. You see the platform here. So till that only you have to fill the fuel below the, this mark only, not above this. If you fill above this, the overflow will come outside. So we can lock, just a press, it will get locked. So now I'll open the right side box now. Here you can get the pollution test certificate and here will be the fuse boxes so this six running fuses will be there and this three are spare for you so if any fuse is gone you can replace the fuses so now we are opening the left side box so this is an air filter box so you can keep a paper documents here like xerox of uh, emission insurance and the rc card so we have a side sand sensor also in this if it is in the neutral, it will get start. If you put a side stand, in the neutral, it will get start. So when you apply the gear, so engine will get cut off. It doesn't start in the side stand also, in the, if it is in gear. So if you remove the side stand, so in the gear also it will start. So now we'll talk about the tire pressure recommended. If you are riding with the pillion, so you have to keep 32, 36. And if you are riding with a solo always, so you can maintain the both 32. Every 500 kilometers, you have to loop the chain. So this is a cleaner and this is a loop. So first you have to apply the cleaner, clean it then, then I have to apply the loop. So if you want to see the proper oil level, level ground and in main stand only. If you want to get more information about the bike, read our owner manual book, follow the service schedules, maintain properly. Thank you for watching.